When I'm talking about my nachos, I'm talking about that good white queso, okay? <laughs> Dang, why are you laughing? <laughs> The good white queso. That good Caucasian. <laughs> you, said, you said that like Fox News. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Hold Up. This is the show that's a lot about little, big opinions over small things, a lot of stress over things that people don't really care about. I am one of your co-host. My name is Josh Johnson. I'm a writer for The Daily Show, and I am joined by... Dulce Sloan! Brat, 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 brat. Today's episode mm. is gonna be one that I didn't even know that we uh, we disagreed on so heavily. It was wild, because we were trying to talk about something completely different, mm-hmm. and yet... And it and came yet, up. Mm-hmm. We found out that once again, once again, Josh mm-hmm. Johnson, Joshua Solomon Johnson, you can't just keep making up middle names like this. Why not? I because it cause it just doesn't. It, it's not even who I am. What you mean? You, you could be talking about a different person. Mm. Today's episode is <laughs> gonna be nachos versus chili cheese fries. Get into it. Look um, okay. at him. Look at him. Ah! <laughs> I just had a very stress. My last hour of life has been very stressful. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was just me. Thank you so much. So, tell me how you feel about nachos. Tell me why you chose nachos today. I chose nachos because one, mm-hmm. they motherfucking delicious. Okay. All right. This is the thing I love about nachos. I like variety. Okay. I like variety. I like. That you can put, I don't, what, you, what? You're going you gonna to say it twice and then yeah. act like it's two different things. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. Hey, man, I'm living my life. I'm trying to be uh-huh. a Christian. And so, <laughs> I love the fact that you can have all kinds of nachos. Because, mm-hmm. you know, your movie theater nachos, they're the saltiest nachos you'll ever eat in your life. Because yeah. it's those yellow studio chip, uh, my studio stadium chips mm-hmm. that are so salty you can feel the grains of salt. Yeah, yeah. You can get them between your teeth. Get them between your teeth, truly. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can just rub them and season Mm. other things. There's that. There's that uh, cheese sauce, which. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That the movie one is nasty. It's wild. The movie one is unacceptable. And you know what's crazy? My mom went and we got some movie theater, and it was like, it's like, oh, it's Arizona nachos, and I was like, wait, I was in the Dollar Tree with her, and I was like. Why is Arizona tea making nacho kits? I fucks with an Arizona, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Heavy. A green tea Arizonis? Come on. Okay. And then you got your little pickle jalapenos or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or, or, my favorite thing to do is when I go back to Atlanta, there's this mm-hmm. place called Willie's that I go to with my mama and my brother. Mm-hmm. And it has the whole, like, because see, Chipotle, that's why with Chipotle... Because, like, the secret is with a Chipotle, somebody I just saw on TikTok, somebody just found out that they could uh, make nachos at uh, at Chipotle. It was like, yeah, he just asked them to replace the rice with chips, and all of a sudden he's got fucking nachos. Mm-hmm. Genius, right? So, but I love nachos because of the variety, you know? Okay. First of all, if the queso, the cheese, also, I think it's funny that we call the cheese sauce queso when it's just, when it's just cheese. It's just cheese. It, That's yeah, just Spanish for yeah. cheese. Right? Yeah, I I, w- I want to hear the rest of your thing. I'm not going to mention the cheese yet. I want to hear your thing because I was about to interrupt. I'm trying to stop myself. No, 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 interrupt. Go. The okay the the cheese. I I'm I'm gonna try to be as objective as possible in this mm-hmm. argument because sometimes the cheese from the movie theater nachos mm-hmm. is also the same type of cheese that ends up on chili cheese fries. So yes. I can't fully come down on you for the cheese on those mm-hmm. nachos because I know that it happens to me too. So I'm I'm mm-hmm. trying to I'm trying to show grace Thanks. and trying to assume that you're talking about the best type of nachos and I'm talking about the best type of chili cheese fries. Yes. We ain't because talking the, about no bottom basement. We ain't talking about tachos. Yeah, the the nacho cheese that is at a baseball game Oof. is is actually 
so American because of the problems it gives you. All right. Yes. We're talking constipation. We're mm-hmm. talking cardiovascular issues. All right. You can feel them when you're eating. You can feel yourself slowing down. You can feel you your blood slow down. Nachos. Yeah. You can feel your mm-hmm. blood slow down. And mm-hmm. that is the wildest part. When I'm talking about my nachos, I'm talking about that good white queso. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? The good white queso. That good Caucasian. You said said that like Fox (laughs) knew. That good Christian white. White queso. Yes. Protestant queso. That good white Protestant old money. That's the case. European I remember that's the case. Queso, queso. That, yes, that ca- that's the case I was telling you about where you have to have it with a margarita. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. That's what that. I was telling you about because you need a margarita to bust up all that cheese. Yeah. But yeah. you need the cheese to counteract the acidity mm-hmm. of the margarita. Yeah, yeah. See what or I'm or you could don't do that. Leave your mouth alone. Fuck like Addie like I'm just I'm just saying it's like if you need this much counteracting. It's Wednesday night. <laughs> what else am I supposed to be doing? What are you act- you're-, <laughs> you're acting like Wednesday means. It's Wednesday have- night. Of course I'm out with my girlfriends getting queso and margaritas after we just came. From this fucking Mary what? Kay purse legging Tupperware bullshit thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Listen, listen. Uh-huh. All of us got an SUV. Okay. Why? Who knows? Uh, okay. So nachos. So so nachos. Keep going. The toppings, combinations are endless. Okay. You could mm-hmm. do the meats. Mm-hmm. You could do no meats. Mm-hmm. You can see what I guy I saw a guy do that made my vagina my vagina slam shut, and he just got nachos with just he just wanted cheese and grilled chicken. That this is this is the type of thing that I've started to judge people on, and mm-hmm. I've, I've I've even talked about this on stage where it's like we have to quit waiting until the serial killers kill mm-hmm. to call them serial killers. Yes. All right. There are some things that people are gonna do. That it, it's so off and upsetting that you're like, no, no, no. Watch him. Okay? Right, because the fact that you are not in the second grade. <laughs> mm. It's like when I eat meet adults who only eat cheese pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheese yeah. pizza is kid food. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how many comments you put underneath this YouTube video. Guess what? I'm not going to read them. It's not my job. Also, grow the fuck up. Put something else on a pizza. I'm sorry. This is wild. It's like, insane. There was a guy. I went to IHOP with Logan one time. We were mm-hmm. on, just on the road doing a show. Yeah. And a guy, a table, a table away from us, mm-hmm. ordered his bacon. What? Extra moist. He said extra moist. What is that? I think he just wanted them to run it under the faucet, I guess. I have no idea what that means. But You've it told was, me that. I've heard it, this it, Yeah, it was so upsetting that we were like, all right, so police, police? Like, as much as we call the cops on people mind their own business, that's something that I wish I would have called 911 about. Like, that was... Is he saying that he didn't want them... Is he saying that he didn't want them to get the oil off of it? I think that he wants bacon cooked as little as possible because he said extra this nigga just is my f- extra moist is what he said which means to have that order already means you've done that before wait hold on i'm trying to protect myself from this conversation because <laughs> now i'm scared yeah yeah i'm worried about everybody involved and i know it's not the same I know it's not the same as the, same. the cheese and the chicken. It is. It is. It is? It is. Okay. All right. It's not a serial killery. Mm-hmm. But there's a level 
of juvenileosity? Here's the thing. Okay. If, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna cloak yourself to protect yourself, yes, you gotta I... only use real words. All right. Sustained. So. Oh my God! This reminds me. This guy I used to work with. I can't mm -hmm. remember which job it was. Mm -hmm. This nigga's talking about some woman he saw that he liked. And I was like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, you know, I really liked her feminosity." And I was like, "I don't want. I don't. I can't." Yep. No. Yep. No. Yeah. No. Blessings to him. All no. Right. <laughs> I said femininity. He said, "What's that?" He was like, "No, nah, no. Nah, she had a lot of it." Yeah, she he's like, yeah, you know, she, she got that feminosity. And I was like, I got to go. I said, can I call out of work? I'm already here, but I got to go home. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. It is it is maddening. But I guarantee you he will pull. Oh, I think he already had a kid. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, man, everybody know dumb dudes got great dick. I don't know why they have to be dumb. Like, D some, some people just have the penis. No, what I'm saying is, but they're no, like dumb dudes. Uh-huh. Broke dudes. Uh-huh. Country ass dudes. Okay. So yeah, if you a city motherfucker with some money, you better step your game up. If you read books. <laughs> <laughs>I was sitting there with one of my friends at the cellar the other day. We saw this. He was there was this guy mm -hmm. who was talking to you know some other comics or whatever. We didn't know who mm -hmm. he was. Mm -hmm. And and this is a male. This is okay. a man. This is All a right. black man. Saw this other man from across the room and was like, "Yo, that dude looks dumb." <sighs> because when a man walked by originally, I was like, oh, "Who the fuck is?" Because he made my ovaries move. So I was, who the fuck is this big motherfucker? Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice big strapping man. Yeah. He's like, yo, that dude looks dumb. And I was like, ah, don't do that. You sound like a hater. And I looked okay. over and I was like, yo, this nigga does look dumb. And yeah. so I was like, no. And so I went over and talked to, you know, other people. And then I got mm. to talking to him for a second. I was like, damn, that nigga was right. This dude is dumb. And Which means yeah. his dick is going to be amazing. And he's so dumb. He's one of those people where I, I, every time he had a thought, I saw it. Like, you know the cartoon where you just see the little, ant, just the wheel turning? Like, you just see, like, the yeah. animated little... Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw it when it turned. I saw it when it stopped. That... Yeah, an idea, a little light. And then, okay, we're back on. Every time he had an idea, I saw it. Every time. He... And I bet you what that man loved was chili cheese fries. How dare you? <laughs> how? How? How very was, dare me. I was I was truly trying to extend an <laughs> olive branch and you burned it. You burned it in my face. Nah, baby, I pulled the olives. I pulled the olives off the branch and uh, put them on my nachos. That's look, what I did. I took this, the olives, put them on my nachos. Because I will tell you this. Mm. Nachos with queso are so much better than nachos with melted shredded cheese because Okay. Once the temp, once that shredded cheese ain't hot no more. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. It has just spackled my nachos to this plate. Sure. It's concrete. We could pave roads with fucking melted cheese. Like it's mm -hmm. you're. And I'm coming. It's pieces, right? Yeah. So I also love the fact that you could put veggies on it, no veggies on it. You can mm -hmm. put all kinds of meats. Mm -hmm. You ever had seafood nachos? I have had seafood nachos. Fucking amazing, right? Yeah, you know, if you get if you get the right shrimp, it's it's like Fish. really really good. I guess my thing is for chili cheese fries. What I'm making sure that you and the other listeners don't miss mm. is that just because chili and cheese are in the name, mm. it doesn't mean that's where you have to stop. I'm not saying that there are as many toppings for chili cheese fries as there are nachos because no. I don't think that there are. There are. I'm just saying that people hear chili cheese fries, and they could incorrectly or correctly assume that only chili and cheese will be on those fries. But I believe if you get the right fry, all right, if you get the right temperature, and if you fry it to perfection, it is incredibly difficult for a nacho to beat a fry, okay? Because when you get chili and you get cheese and you get the right meat, whether it is beef or it is turkey or it is ground chicken, if that is your preference, Love no matter chicken. what you do, 
no matter what you do and no matter how you brown it when you throw it in the chili because don't forget what the chili cheese lacks in toppings it makes up for in the seasoning but All right? what kind of chili are we talking about because this is the mm-hmm. thing okay we have to talk about when it comes to the chili cheese fry okay i can tell you i can let me ask you okay is the fry important or can you use any kind of fry now this this oof mhm there's mm-hmm. there's when you want to talk about schools and you want to talk about thought there are schools of thought <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about schools? Like what? We're we'll talking about thoughts. What are we talking about? Schools yeah. of thoughts. Or yeah. wow, that would be a good name for an album if you think about it. Schools of thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. A waffle fry will a actually waffle fry, get you a waffle a fry lot. chili cheese fries. Yeah. Waffle fry chili cheese fries. Yeah. We don't do it enough. We not only do we not do it enough, we don't appreciate how much you catch. Because mm-hmm. I will say this. When it comes to a chili cheese fry versus a nacho, the only way that the chili cheese fry can compete with the nacho in terms of how much you grab and get when you pull is if it's a waffle fry. Right, because you can put chili. We've all put chili in made nachos. We've all put chili on on tortilla chips and been like, <laughs> nachos beach, right? Mm-hmm, You've mm-hmm. all seen the walking nachos. Have you seen? Yo, I'm going to tell you the wildest I've been... I've been in love with eating nachos my whole life, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm in love with the nacho. One thing I could never get behind, and it might sound crazy, is when people would use Doritos as the chips in the chip in the nachos, only because, like, you remember when she when like the nacho cheese Doritos, the seasoning used to be heavy. Like not now, where it's just a just a whisper, just an afterthought, just a shadow of flavor. But when them chips used to be orange, right? (laughs) 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 When them chips was orange, okay, when you was Mm. getting the orange on your fingers like you were just eating a whole bag of Cheetos, right? Using a Dorito as a tortilla chips, okay. In nachos. Okay. Totally destroys the whole fucking flavor of your nachos. It also lets me know Talk that you are an agent of chaos. See? Because, I was going to say something else, but that's a better way to put that. Yeah, yeah, because there were there been two people in my life who I saw do it, and one of them is in jail, and the other one might need to be in jail. See? 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 Mm-hmm. This, is, this is your moist bacon. Yeah, yeah. That's your moist bacon. Because, because a waffle could... Mm, go ahead. You know, no, sorry, sorry. It's just you know that you're not actually about flavor when you do that. You're just about doing stuff to do it. You're about eating. Yeah, yeah. You're about eating, and it just sounds you're not, you're not, you're not doing. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. You, you won't. <laughs> you're too nice to say it, but you want to say it so bad. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. And I'm not gonna alive. do it. Hey, like, gonna... <laughs> it. It sounds poor. It sounds. <laughs> You kept Thank you trying so much. not to say it. Thank you so much. And I didn't say it. I didn't Ooh, say it. You, you said, said it. it. I you said, said it. I said it because I could see that you <sighs> needed the release. Like, <laughs> but you were like, the way that you were like, and a Dorito and a, like the way I you were listing like, it. I felt like a soda that had got put in a paint shaker. Like, <laughs> now listen, I know there's a lot of people that might have an issue with me saying that things are, are poor. Mm -hmm. I'm also somebody who has mixed in college Mm -hmm. because I have a lot of white friends. I've had Jaeger mixed with Mountain Dew. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've slept in many a mobile home. Wasn't Mm -hmm. mine, Mm -hmm. but I was friends with them. We all have a past. I really wonder why, because why'd you pick chili cheese fries over the nacho? Do you not like, I mean, do you, I think that if you get it right, there's a higher pinnacle for a chili cheese nacho than even a nacho. 
all right? If we're talking a perfectly fried waffle fry okay. and then chili and cheese, and we're talking about cheese that is that What is kind loved. of cheese? What kind of cheese? What kind of cheese? Because for me- there's a few. If you, if you go about melting it right, and to me, the best chili cheese is going to actually be in the same form as those stadium uh, fries and those stadium nachos, but okay. not the same type of cheese. So okay. when, I, when I talk about melted cheese, I don't just mean throwing a couple Kraft singles on, throwing it in the microwave. To me, that is blasphemy. What I'm talking about is in a pot, melting down, making your own cheese sauce at home, right? Mm. Melting it down and then pouring it over. Okay. Okay? Because to me, now, even as it cools, because the, the, the other issue with some nachos, like you like you mentioned before, with the cement and some chili cheese fries, is the quickness that you have to have to eat it. Yes, because once That's, it gets cold, it's over. When, when it gets cold, it's done. And so... Because there's a there's a third element in there, mm-hmm. I recognize that a chili cheese fry is going to need more of your time and attention than a nacho. Because chili cheese fry, you got to worry about the chili being cold. Mm. You got to worry about the cheese being cold. Mm. You got to worry about the fry being cold. The right? fry being cold? Bro. Yeah. yeah. It's What's ready it? to fight. <sighs> if, I, if I get served chili cheese fries, I like... I'm not the type of person to like wow out at a restaurant or anything, Never. but if it if it comes and it is cold, I do get a little upset because I'm like, all right, clearly the chili and the cheese are too hot for me to send this back like it's cold. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and fight through. Mm. But you know what you did to me. Also, also, I've had chili cheese fries my mom made it for me one time, and she didn't do it often, which I'm thankful for because it, it actually can't be that healthy. But my mom made me um, chili cheese fries from scratch, and that labor of love, I will never forget, okay? Because she I made the chili. I've done she it. She made the chili. And making the chili, mm-hmm. making that's what I was saying before. Okay, we lose you on some toppings when it comes yeah. to nachos nachos edge out on the toppings yeah. i'm objective enough to respect that but the seasoning okay the way that you can season chili to then put over the fries is is tough to beat i've had very dry nachos before and it has mm-hmm. made me just so it's it, it makes you go it makes you live it honestly it makes you go yeah. i'm a good person what the fuck yeah. happened over here and I think that the other reason that chili cheese fries for me edge out the nacho is because when you are eating them, right? Mm-hmm. And you and they've got it right. Whether whether it's a loved one that's made it for you or whether you're just at the right stadium, they got it right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that there's a bit more heft to the meal when it is a chili cheese fry than when it's a nacho because I'm gonna stop you right there yeah I'm gonna stop you right there okay as someone who is a nacho connoisseur <laughs> okay yeah nachos can be heavy cuz i used to work across there was a taco place across my um across the street from restaurant in LA that I would mm. go to to the point where them girls had my phone number. And mm. if they didn't see me for a while, honestly, one girl, I just had to stop. Uh once she found out I did Conan, and she was blowing me up all the time. I was like, bitch, we ain't even we ain't friends like this. You're being weird. And so <laughs> they would do nachos where it was like it was chorizo, mm. and fucking plantains, and rice, and all this mm. other shit. And you know how much they like you because every time I would go to box kept getting heavier. Mm, yeah. So it was like this one thing in nachos was like three meals at least. Okay. Okay. And then one day they maybe like I came in there and they're like, oh, we're doing breakfast nachos. And I was like, that sounds. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm... Fuck it, run it. Let's see. Cause I had I had to know. Yeah. I had to know. Yeah. And it, it was and it was it was as good as it was supposed to be. But I do have a hard time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have a hard time finding nachos up here. I can say the chips and nachos are just as important 
as as the potatoes and chili cheese fries because one, mm-hmm. I've had I haven't been eating nachos before, and not only were chips salty, but the chips were very wide. Yes, yes. And so it was catching the corners of my mouth. Mm-hmm. And cutting you with the salt. And cutting me with the salt. Yeah. Also, you ever gone to like Chili's and how thin their tortilla chips are? Snapping. Yeah. Snap and just. I told you about that, right? What? Years ago, I had a. Did did I tell you about this? I did in stand up about the the. I was on that date. This is like I don't even think I lived in New York yet. I was in Chicago or something. Yeah. Tell the people, Josh. And I was just I was trying. I had ordered guacamole. And their idea of guacamole was just stabbing an avocado twice because it was the thickest guacamole and the thinnest chips I've ever, paper chips. And so every, I'm trying to talk to her about her life and interests and stuff. And I'm just snapping chips left (laughs) and right, just chips snapping. And so finally I put two hands on one chip to get more leverage. Cause after the fifth one, it's noticeable. Right. Because I'm just snapping them and then trying to move on like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And then just snapping more of them, right? <laughs> Last one, I put two in. Yeah. And I, I don't even dig that deep. I'm not trying to shovel the chip. I'm yeah. just trying to get something and bring something back for me, right? <laughs> And on the last chip, two hands, oh, no. I, I stick it in and I, I just, I just like a pop fulcrum, it. just pop it back up. And instead of even staying on the chip, the guac flies all over her. Like just flicks all over her and gets on her. And I was like, I'm, I'm fun. Like this shouldn't be happening to me. This isn't fair. I'm a good person. Yeah. Sidebar. Well, how do you feel about the Totino scoops? I don't feel like it's natural, but I do feel like it's helpful depending on what the dip is. Yes. Yeah. But we all know that you can't use them as nachos. No, you can't. You 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 can. It it feels like nacho cupcakes when you do that. When, who told me they tried to use them as? I think my ex was telling me a story. Those were the only chips that he had, and he wanted nachos. You you really have to go ahead and if you're gonna do that, you have to do each individual one. You have to do each end of, and you have to pour a little bit of queso. You have to put a little bit of meat, a mm-hmm. couple of onions, one mm-hmm. little piece of jalapeno. I think that that's a great like snack for weddings or for like what when people are walking around, be like be like hold your own nacho. You know what I mean? That to Ooh. me makes sense. But to just put a bag of them on a plate and then just start pouring cheese and you're asking for chaos. That's what he did. That's what he did. But we're not together now. Hey. Yeah. Hey. You, you might as well be biting the side of a paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> it does not make sense. But like sideways. Like not mm-hmm. even at the top, but like like that. That's what you meant, right? Like like corn. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. That was my visual. That was my visual. I, um and and so my thing is when you know what to expect and you're getting the same thing when it comes to the to the levels of um, consistency when you're biting when with chili cheese fries because what mm. happens to nachos sometimes mm. is that the nachos that are in the very middle at the very bottom sometimes get left completely dry. dry. The ones above those get too wet so yes. they're soggy and the ones at the edges are perfect. See, and that's why people have to learn. Mm-hmm. If you're going to do a big thing of nachos, right? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I hate going to places where it's just like, you do a big thing of nachos, but since all the all the toppings are on top, it looks like a lot. Yeah. I went to somewhere, I think it was like Taco Mac in Atlanta, the way they used to do it, is they would do a layer of chips, layer of meat and cheese, mm-hmm. layer of chips, layer of meat and cheese, layer of chips. Meat, and cheese, lettuce, sour cream, salt, and all of the rest of the toppings. Yes, yes, would go yes, on yes. the very top. Exactly, and, exactly, and that is a professional. That's somebody that cares about people. I think now it's time to kick it over to the listener. Let us know what you think. Tell us. All right, are you team chili cheese fries or are you team nacho? Okay. Nacho. Chili cheese fries are superior. And, ah! Uh, 
You're no a liar many, from the devil. No, Listen. No, no matter how many calls you do to the hey, nachos, hey, it's, it's not going to help. You know hey, I mean? listen. It's like, yeah. I think that the nacho is something that is easily accessible for the children, you know, for the kitties. I, that could be a good after Because it's like, chili cheese fries, you got to get chili, okay? No, no. You gotta get fries. no <laughs> The first thing you said you love about nachos was the variety. And now you're going to be like, with chili cheese, right? you got to get chili. You but the thing is, like you, don't, you don't always have chili, right? I'm, I'm but, with you, yes. But yes. nachos could just be cheese and chips or cheese and chips and salsa. If you hate your life, yes. But if you really... Or if you're seven. If you're seven, unfortunately, some people who are 37 also mm. enjoy those as nachos. And I never want those people to see my boobs. Before I get more upset, we're I gonna, hear you. We're gonna we're gonna kick, kick it. it to the listeners because mm-hmm. you know me and Josh we bring it to you every episode and um I think one we were very cordial in this one two we know we were really supporting each other's points mm-hmm. even though you came in hot at the beginning and very aggressive you look <sighs> just, just strong and then you're like yeah to the cheese fries yeah we're gonna live forever yeah. um <laughs> it's uh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I'm in my skims dress. I'm fucking unstoppable. I've given Kim Kardashian uh-huh. so much of my money. I put one of them kids, at least with it, one of them kids is getting booked from me. I promise you. Somebody yeah. got a uniform on my black ass. I'm telling you right now. Mm-hmm. Chicago's pink carpet birthday. I'm, t- I'm sure a couple of square feet are on your girl. If you are looking to catch up with me, you can find me. And my other podcast, The Josh Johnson Show, uh, episodes come out every Thursday wherever you get your podcast. And if you are looking to catch up with Dulce, you can find her. In these streets! I'm kidding. Um, I'm, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm also on the internet. I'm also on this podcast that you're currently listening to. And... <laughs> Uh-huh. And then I got shows coming up if you want to hear about. <laughs> okay. Y'all. <sighs> y'all have a great rest of the week into the weekend. Nacho! Bra, 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 bra. Hey, everybody. It's Josh here. I'm going to be doing Stand Up on the Road as part of the Freshman Tour. March 10th and 11th, I'll be in Kansas City at the Kansas City Improv. You can get your tickets at improvkc.com or in the link that we provide. And then after that, I'm going to be in Fort Collins at the Comedy Fort, March 31st and April 1st. It's not a joke. I'll really be there. You can get your tickets in the link that we provide or by going to comedyforcollins.com. And you can catch Dulce. Laugh Seattle, March 3rd to the 4th, and Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase in Ann Arbor, Michigan, March 9th to the 11th. So make sure your mom is out holding your dad's hand, because I'm a pro.